Hey everyone, this is Jordan from 3DAnatomyTutorials.com, your source for all things anatomy. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel, 3D Anatomy Tutorials. I just want to give a shout out to 3D4 Medical for letting us use this awesome app, Essential Anatomy. You can find that in the Apple iTunes store. So this video is just kind of a continuation down the spine. Hopefully you guys have already checked out our general overview of the spine video as well as the cervical and thoracic regions. Now we're getting into the lumbar region. So I have that uh, already highlighted here in green. Again, this is the lumbar spine. And what I'm going to go ahead and do now is isolate that lumbar spine. All right, so now you can see it nice and big. And I'm going to pick just one and isolate that again so that we can talk about the lumbar spine and show you all the different features that it has. First thing I'm going to do is show you the moose head. So if we look at the posterior view, um, we have what some people like to call the moose head. So I'm going to draw these eyes on there. So there's the moose eyes with being the superior articular pro, uh, facets. And then we have our spinous process as the nose and our transverse processes as the ears. So if you kind of use your imagination, it looks a little bit like a moose head. So when you're picking it up, trying to orient yourself, figure out where you're at, on the, the different regions of the spine, the vertebral column. Look for the moose head, you know you got lumbar. All right, so now we're gonna get into all the features that we have. So I'm gonna go to the superior view. I like to start with the superior view. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. So, out here we have anterior. At the top of your screen and posterior is gonna be more towards the bottom of your screen. Now, <clears throat> first thing we'll show is the vertebral body. Now the lumbar vertebral body, nice and big, very big, thick vertebral body. And when we see, look at it from another view, like from the lateral view, you'll see how um, thick it is. And then out laterally here, we have the transverse processes coming out laterally on both sides. We have in black, I'm going to circle it, and then I'm going to put in hash marks as well. That will be our vertebral canal of course for the spinal cord to go through and continue on down. We have our spinous process or the moose nose, spinous process here in the blue. Our superior articular facets, they're not great from this view. They'll be much better uh, when we look at the posterior view, but you can still see them slightly. That's our superior articular facets. And we have here our pedicles. Now again, the pedicle is the, the area on the, the vertebra that connects the, the vertebral body to the rest of the features. So the vertebral body um, is connected to the superior articular process and the transverse process and spinal process all by the pedicles. And then we have the lamina. So let's go with green. Let's try that. That will stand out a little better. Okay, green. So here's the, the lamina. Here's the lamina on either side of kind of at the base of the spinous process. Now another, th now, now the next feature I'm going to show you is unique to the lumbar so that this is another way you can tell if you're looking at a lumbar vertebrae I'm going to do it in black and it's going to be this little projection here coming off posterior posterior to the superior articular facet now you'll see it better in another view but just kind of get your mind um, started with that again this is a feature that is unique to the lumbar verte vertebra and that would be the mammillary process. There's going to be another feature that we'll look at in a second that is unique to the lumbar region as well. So again, anterior is going to be at the top of your screen, posterior is at the bottom of your screen. That yellow with the hash marks, that's our vertebral body. The black with the hash marks is our vertebral canal. The orange on either side is the pedicles. And then if you even go a little more laterally, you have the transverse processes on both sides. That kind of bluish green, that's going to be our superior articular facet. That lime green is the lamina. The black circles are our mammillary process, unique to the lumbar region. And then blue is our, blue is our spinous process. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate the picture. So now we're looking at the posterior view. Now we can see that moose head staring right at us. And we're going to go ahead and bring up some of these picture, I mean some of these, uh, structures again. So we'll go ahead and start with the nose here on the spinous process. Remember this is projecting posterior. So now it looks like it's coming at us, but it's posterior. Um, we can see 
much better now are superior articular facets. So now you can see those much better. And, and you can even get a better view of the mammillary process, which is coming off posterior, right? The mammillary process coming off posterior to the superior articular facet. Now, out laterally, we have our transverse processes on either side. Now I'm going to show you another feature that is unique to the lumbar region, and that is our accessory process. So the accessory process, just like the mammillary process, is unique to the lumbar region. That's kind of at the base of the transverse process. I like to think of it between the superior articular facet and the transverse process. So here it is in yellow. Okay, that kind of point going posterior. Just a small little bump there. All right. That is our accessory process, unique to the lumbar region, at the base of the transverse process. And right here we can see the back. Uh, oh, let's. So here we can see the back of the inferior articular facet. So we can't actually see the articular surface, but it's just going to be opposite to these two regions here, on, or just on the other side right here. So when I rotate it, you'll be able to see it much clearer. So don't worry about that just yet. And then again, we have the lamina, which I think I did it in the green, so I'll try and do that again. Lamina is going to be this region right here, that whole region. Okay, so if you were to kind of tie a string through the vertebral canal and around the back, that would be the lamina. So it's the entire region, not just this side that you can see here, right, but on the inside and, and all sides of it. Okay, so I'm going to go over the colors again. I have red out laterally. That's our transverse process. The yellow at the base of the transverse process is our accessory process, unique to the lumbar region. Then I have that teal, that kind of dark blue. Um, that's going to be our superior articular facet. Just posterior to that, I have in black our mammillary process, which is also unique to the lumbar region. That bright green is the lamina. That, that kind of heavy blue is the transverse, uh, sorry, the spinous process spinous process and then down there in that pink is the back side of the inferior articular facet so again this is the posterior view I'm gonna go ahead and rotate to a lateral view lateral view so now we can really see that now we can really see that inferior articular facet inferior articular facet big spinous process here now if you remember um, the thoracic had a long, kind of sharp spinous process, and the cervical region had a pretty short one. Well, now we're in the lumbar region, and it's pretty thick, not so long, though, okay? Also, like I said earlier, the vertebral body, real nice and thick, okay? Vertebral body, big body there, okay? We have the transverse process coming at us, all right? And then... Here's the pedicle, which would be this whole region here. Again, connecting the vertebral body to the rest of the features on the vertebra. And then above, above the pedicle, we have the superior, the superior vertebral notch. And then below, we have the inferior vertebral notch. Okay, so that's just kind of that space in the bone. And when you have the vertebrae all lined up, stacked up on top of each other, we have, um, they make the intervertebral foramen. So the intervertebral foramen, as you remember from the other videos, the intervertebral foramen are going to be the areas where the spinal cord, uh, where the spinal nerves actually exit the spinal cord uh, and go out from the vertebral column. So again, that green is the superior vertebral notch, and that light blue is the inferior vertebral notch. So that is the lumbar spine, the moose head. I hope that was helpful. Next video, we're going to go ahead and dive into the sacrum. We're just going to keep working our way down. Um, hope that was helpful. Remember, you can check out all our videos at 3DAnatomyTutorials.com. You can find us on YouTube, same name for our, pay, uh, yeah, our, our YouTube channel, 3D Anatomy Tutorials. Hope this was helpful, guys. Have a good one.